Hi, it's me again. Um, now I was telling you about the Navy thing and, and the cancer and everything, and uh, it reminded me, you know, I don't know if I'm insane or not. You know, that's very questionable. Um, but I always try and have fun with things, you know, and so when I'd have my... Uh, chemotherapy I would you know um, crochet or a lot of the guys in there would take naps and you know I I just I'd just be looking around and watching everybody and oh it's always fascinating to see stuff going on well I did lose my hair okay and uh, oh it was fun I could just take just big chunks of hair out and I'm thinking, ooh, this is fun. It's kind of like uh, pulling the dead hair out of big dogs. You know, you get a pile of hair. I, I had the best time with that. And um, that's why I, <laughs> I, had, I had my brother's barber shave my head. And I left about a quarter of an inch, okay? And uh, so at night while I was watching TV, I just pick hair out of my head. <laughs> Put it in a pile. <laughs> and then <laughs> after I lost all my hair, I didn't know it, but my eyes were kind of sunken in and I had black circles under my eyes. And uh, so, you know, um, I had this gray, big fluffy gray robe, and uh, I'm looking in the mirror one day, and I thought, oh my God. I had that robe on it with my bald head and the sunken in eyes, and I thought, oh my God. And I walked out to the dining room, and I said, Dave, and he goes, what? I said, who do I look like right now? And I went like this, you know, I, I put my arms up like that, and I <laughs> and put a light bulb in my mouth. I looked exactly like Uncle Festus, uh, Fester on the Adams Family. Oh my God, we laughed about that. My brother was showing the picture all around to all of our friends. It was hilarious. But that's the kind of things that we would do and then when I got home from the hospital, Dave says, okay, you get one day of rest um, after my hysterectomy. He said to get one day of rest and then you got to get up and sweep the house, vacuum the house. I said, Dave, how am I going to do that? He said, easy, we'll tie, we'll, we'll tie a broom to your ass and you can just walk around. <laughs> You can just walk around the house and the, the thing goes. <laughs> my brother couldn't be, uh, my brother couldn't have a, he doesn't have a serious bone in his body. Okay, and we always, we're always joking each other. One time I, uh, we were working at a flea market and, uh, and we were always making, always making bets. And I bet him that uh, I could do something. I forget what it is right now. And and so we give each other, what do you have to do, you know, if you lose? And well, mine was, um, I had to go in front of the whole flea market and uh, sing I'm a Little Teapot, a complete with actions. And unbeknownst to me, uh, well, I lost. So while I was singing it, I was being... Uh, uh, recorded and someone put me on YouTube singing I'm a little teapot oh my god but yeah we're always betting for quarters hey I think it's this no I think it's that I'll bet you a quarter and then when he wins I'll say here take your dirty money so anyway we're always having fun um, so that's uh, just a little story for right now and I'll see you later. Take the long way home. Take it easy and woo woo. Bye.